Hansen. Shalom. This is Calvin Israel back with another video lesson giving all praises, honor, power, glory, dominion, majesty, reverence, blessings, worship, love, and admiration to the Most High, Yahweh, and Yahweh only. Double honors, triple honors to Yahweh and Yahweh only. No Baha Shem. Understand that. All right. Now, today's video lesson is titled The Judgment of the Wicked Woman. And we're talking about specifically the Israelite woman, the so called black woman. The judgment of of the wicked woman, all right? Because as we bring out all the time, the most high deals real closely with the Israelites because we are his chosen people. We have a great responsibility on us, all right? And we are supposed to conduct ourselves as such, you know? as such kings and princesses, all right? Prophets and prophetesses, all right? So, and priestess, our women can teach, you know, and our women do teach, whether you know it or not. But they are teaching wickedness. Most of our women is teaching wickedness, all right? And they will not go unpunished. All right. This is. The future of a wicked woman. The American party animals. The prostitutes. The strippers. The bad bitches. The vile. The cheaters. The feminists. The non-believers. The idolaters the death ear commandment breakers. This is your future judgment right here in this video. And I'm going to bring it out. A lot of people don't want me to bring it out. Some of the women in my circle don't want me to bring it out. But they know what it is. And I tell them, no, I got to bring it out. I got to speak on it. Because Somebody got to warn them. I don't fear them. 
right? I'm not finna be soft on them. Somebody got to warn them because they got a big judgment coming. And if you don't see it in the scriptures, I'm about to show you in the scriptures. And the most high been showing me a lot of stuff. The most high been showing me a lot of things on this particular topic, especially. All right. It's a heavy judgment. On the daughters of Zion. And it's coming, man. So our women need to repent. All right. Our women been in bed with this devil for too long, man. You see it. She's been a bed wench for far too long. She is partaking in Esau's kingdom, in the white man's kingdom, man. White man gives her a little bit to boast herself above the men, above us, right? He was doing the same thing back then on the plantation. He would take a nice looking Israelite woman, give her nice clothes, better than the slave girl clothes, right? Better than those rags. Give her decent food, better than the food that the slaves was eating, right? And she'll go and be an informant for him. And she'll tell and all the other females on the plantation to be jealous of her because she got these luxuries. Right? And when he calls for another slave woman, for another Israelite woman, that Israelite woman is going to do her very best to please him so that she can have better conditions in her servitude. Right? So Esau manipulates the man. So you you better believe he manipulating this woman, man, something terribly. Right? Fast forward to this modern day. He's doing the same thing. He'll take a Nicki Minaj, a Cardi B, a Megan Thee Stallion, City Girls, and give them that luxury. Give them multi-million dollar deals. And what they do? They go and boast and brag about the things that they have. What they do, same thing that those women on the plantation was doing. Boosting themselves, boasting themselves above a man. Yeah, I got it better than this, man. You better not mess with me. Because I got the protection of Esau. I got the protection of the slave master. Right? I'm better than you. I eat better than you. I dress better than you. I get treated better than you. Better than you, Israelite man. Right? That's how they feeling it. And then that's what they're expressing in their music today. Megan the Stallions. The Nicki Minaj. The Cardi B's. The City Girls. That's what they're expressing in their music. That they're better than men. That they don't need men. They're dogging men. And now it's this whole thing of the battle of the sexes. You know, he's playing light skin versus dark skin. He's playing the man versus the woman, the woman versus the man. Right. He's just sowing all this discord. And all of this. Dysfunction. Within our nation, man. And especially within our home. All right. Because now the Israelite woman feels like she don't need you. Right. American women have more liberty away from the man. 
And in that liberty, she created feminism. And feminism is the indoctrination of a woman feeling like she's equal to a man's masculinity. So this whole me too mindset forms. A man can do it. I can do it. Right. So now in America. We have women. That's women physically, but mentally the women are men. And in this liberty, women over sexualize themselves. They over sexualize themselves. No one over sexualize the woman more than she over sexualize herself. Right. Forgetting the very gender part she have. Forgetting that this very gender part that she has is an open wound, a receiver. But through penis envy, her wanting to be a man, she treats her vagina like it's a penis. Right? So we write here in Lamentations 4, 6, for the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment and no hands stayed on her. So it was nobody to help Sodom and Gomorrah, right? When the most high rang down fire and brimstones on them cities, right? But wait, he says, that the so-called black woman's, her punishment is worse than that. Oh, let's get off into this punishment, man. Most definitely, let's get off into this punishment. And I'm going to break this down for y'all, man. This is the judgment of the wicked woman. Right? So, back to these whole influencers, when Esau lift these women up to boast themselves up above a man, right? These women have a large platform, right? And they spread this message, man. They spread this poison of feminist, feminism. To the other women that is not even on their status financially. And that's the worst, man. Right? You got a, a lower class, middle class woman with the attitude of a rich female rapper, man. That's what we got to deal with out here, man. That's what we got to choose from out here, man. A whole bunch of them women. Right? Yo, man, it's sickening, man. It's a judgment for all of that, though. Right? And then these women are teaching their daughters that they don't need us. They stepping on us. These women is teaching their daughters that they just need college degrees. But they don't need us. And if they do pursue a man, pursue a rich man, right? Because they view them as high value men. But the real high value men is the men of the Lord. That's what the scripture says. We are the real high value men, the men of Yahweh. All right. We're more precious than fine gold. All right, look, check this out. We finna get off into their judgment, man, because it's real. It's real. They're not going to get away with it. They think that the Most High is going to care about their little innocent doll eyes. The Most High is not going to be moved by your innocent doll eyes, by your plump tits and your uh, slim waist and your fat ass. 
right? You cannot seduce the most high. These wicked women cannot seduce the most high. The most high don't care about that. He created all of that. Understand that. Right? Isaiah 3 and 16. Moreover, Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, like an evil eye, right? That wicked eye, that, they, that look that they give us, right? Walking and mincing as they go and making a tingling with their feet. So they full of conceit and pride because they boast themselves above us, right? They're above us. They surpassed us, right? They're taking full advantage of the liberty that their devil daddy Esau gave them, man. Therefore, Yahweh will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. And Yahweh will discover their secret parts. Right? Your secret lovers, man. Because a woman always lie about her body count, man. Right? And the most high curse them with baldness, man. Right? And, uh, that's also twofold. The most high, you know, knock their crown off their head, man. Right? And that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their coals and their round tires like the moon. And their round tires like the moon. Right? Because don't our women wear those big hoop earrings, right? You see that in the ghettos, man. Those damn big hoop earrings, those uh bamboo earrings, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers. The bonnets. And the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings. All this is getting taken away. Yeah, this is about you, so-called black woman. The rings and the nose jewels, you're being stripped. The Most High is going to strip you of all of your royalties, of all of your luxuries, right? Of all of your accessories, the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins, the glasses and the fine linen, all of your nice clothes and the hoods and the veils. Yeah, this goes for you so-called want to be righteous women too with your head wraps, right? But you wicked as hell, right? And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of well-set hair, baldness. And instead of a stomacher, a girding of the a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. Right, so you coming down. You're going to be brought down low. You're going to be stripped down. Your men shall fall by the sword. And your mighty in the war. Why? Why are your men going to fall by the sword? Because you women like bad boys. You women like wicked men. That's what you're attracted to. That's what you're infatuated with. These men are going to be killed in war. The Most High is going to kill them, right? Here and on the second earth, the men are going to die and wake up in new bodies, 
and be killed all over again, slaughtered. The Most High is going to put their greatest terrors on them. Right? But what you going to do? What the women are going to do? The women are going to die. And they're going to wake up in dungeon city prison village. Right? And her gates. Right? The gates. The gates of dungeon city prison village shall lament and mourn. It's going to be nothing but mourning in this city that you're going to be in. Full of nothing but women. It's a prison village. Right? Dungeon city prison village. And her gates shall lament and mourn. And she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. That's right. Because you're going to have little, little huts, little tents, right? Little caves that's no bigger than a damn studio apartment. And it's going to be like 12 of y'all in there sleeping on hay, right? Sleeping on dirt piles, right? Sleeping on little cots, right? With no damn, with no damn toilets, no bathrooms, nothing. You're going to be shitting and pissing in a bucket. This is serious. You don't have no showers. You're going to have to go outside to a lake to bathe in the lake. And all of y'all got to go out there together because you're going to have to Take turns fighting off the jackals with a long stick, fighting off wild dogs. So I'm going to have to have a long stick fighting off these wild dogs and jackals while the others is bathing in the lake. And you're going to have to switch off and then run back inside. Run back inside your little hut. Understand that. This is where the woman is going, man. Dungeon City. Dungeon City and Prison Village, right? And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by your name to take away our reproach. Right. Let me be your handmaid. Let me be your servant. Let me wash your floors. Let me wash your wise feet. Let me sleep in your basement. Please. I'll work for you. I'll work for my clothes, for my food. I don't even need a small allowance. I just need a home, clothes, food, and something to drink. That's what she's going to be saying. That's what it's saying to you in that day. Yeah. These so-called bad bitches, man. These top notches. That is so damn full of themselves, right? Because of their makeup and because of their bodies and because of their filters and their surgeons and all of that, right? And because of these simps and sugar daddies, they be boosting them up and worshiping them. You know what I mean? And all of these damn fake ass Egyptians that be thinking that these females are gods and boosting their heads up like that, man. They're going to know that they're not God, man. They're going to know that they less than God. They're going to be knowing that they less than the man. In this day, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man because... Every now and then, the men of the Lord, man, the Yahweh only saints, we're going to come down to this city, man, to, you know, to give them their, their beans and rice and corn and, you know, maybe a apple or an orange. You know, not very much food, you know, but we're going to come down there, man. And this is what they're going to be saying. We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. 
Only let us be called by your name to take away our reproach, to take away our shame, to get us out of dungeon, city, and prison, village. Take us up to that kingdom on that high hill that we see shining like gold and colorful diamonds. Take us up there so that we can get out of here and wash off our reproach. And only the men of the Lord that they rejected, that they frowned upon, that they looked down upon, that they thought that they were better than, can take away their reproach because the Most High gave us that power. Understand that. And the Most High gave us that glory. Understand that. All right, let's read more about this dungeon city, man. Precept it. Right? Prison village. We're going to go to Isaiah 32 and 1. Right? And we're going to pick them too. We're going to pick them straight out of Dungeon City. You know, now the righteous women and the women that the Most High has mercy on, you know, He's going to just automatically place them women with us because the scripture says He chooses our inheritance for us. Right. So we're going to be just waking up to the kingdom. Right. Like out of a bad dream. Right. Once we leave this fucking earth, we're going to just wake up to the kingdom. And have our beautiful wives that the most high gave us, man, and we're going to be completely happy and satisfied with that. But these other women, man, they're going to be in Dungeon City, man, and we can clean them up. And as soon as we bring them to the kingdom, they're going to be made like new. Virgins. Right. Right. So we come down to Dungeon City. And be like. Yeah. Uh, I don't want her. I, you know, I mean, her one of her toes is kind of like like bent, you know, and, you know, and your brother might say, you know, yeah, how we can fix that easily, man. You know, but you'd be like, well, yeah, but. I don't even want to burden your howl with that. You know what I mean? Move her on to the side, you know, and then you might see another chick be like, oh, yeah, I remember you from the other side. Yeah, I remember you. Uh, Yeah. Oh, OK. You rejected me. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. We couldn't really get together because of so and so or whatever. I'll give you a chance. I give you a chance now. You come rock with me, man. And she's going to jump up and down, scream, dance, twerk her ass, man, and jump up in this chariot, right? She's going to jump up in, you know, the chariots. That's real chariots, you know, made of uh, wood and gold, right? And, uh, He's going to jump up in that chariot, man. You know, we're going to ride off on these white horses. You know, if we choose to take them. So I feel bad. I, I really feel bad for the women that ain't really all that hot. You feel me? You really ain't got it all like that, though. But you acting like you just God's gift to a man, right? With an attitude like you just got the fattest ass in the whole world though like like you just perfect just everything like right i feel bad for them women in that day because we're going to be doing some real i mean i mean we're going to be doing some real examinations like we're going to be really highly picky in that day so you better you better have it if you acting like that you better really have it it better not be nothing that's surgical because all that's going to be gone. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be no makeup in Dungeon City. None of that. Like, right, you better really have some damn beauty about yourself. Right? I right, look. Check this out. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. Right? Yeah. Princes, man. Yeah. That king is talking about King David. And these princes 
It's talking about us, man, the elect men of the chosen, man. The remnant, the one third. That's us, man. The princes and the princes shall rule in judgment. You think I'm lying, but I'm speaking from the scriptures, though. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. Understand that a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. Right. That's why I'm saying we take you out of Dungeon City. We take you out of prison village. We are on, we're going to take you away from this wind, from this destruction, from this poverty. That's what the wind stands for. And convert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. We're going to be that. And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim in the ears of them that hear shall hearken everybody gonna understand yeah man who is who and the heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge and the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly Alright, y'all know what that say. Alright. The vile person shall be no more called liberal. There you go. The vile person shall be no more called liberal. And who is that vile person? The woman. With all her liberty, right? With all of her equal rights, right? She choose to be vile with that, right? Her feminism, right? Her equality, right? Right? Her, her freedom to listen to the commandments or not. You're not going to have that freedom. In that day, the vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the church said to be bountiful. Right? Understand that, man. The wicked is not getting away. For the vile person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against Yahweh to make empty the soul of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail, right? So this is going off into Esau, you know what I'm saying? The wicked, the wicked man that's right alongside this damn wicked so-called black woman that took his side to partake in his kingdom you know and to do vile things for the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy that's what the white man does man he acts like he masquerade around like he's this angel like he, he, like he's this super righteous person, but he's wicked as hell, man. He practiced hypocrisy, right? And to utter error against Yahweh with that whole JC thing, man, with that whole New Testament thing, man. That's an error against Yahweh to make empty the soul of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. So you're not getting this real water of life, man. Because 
he is fooling everybody. The instruments also of the chur are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. All right. So he deceived the black woman, man. But the liberal devises liberal things and by liberal things shall he stand. All right. So he's always compromising. Right. He's always negotiating his morals. Right. Same thing with the wicked black woman. You know what I'm saying? Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice. You careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. What do you say? Rise up, ye women that are at ease. I'm telling y'all, it's because these women, these women, the women of Israel, so-called black women, they are partaking in the wicked kingdom of this white man right here in America, man. So this, these scriptures is about him and her. All right. Rise up, ye women that are at ease because they are at ease right now. Right. They don't need a man. They got it easy. Right. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. You better listen up. This is that warning, right? Many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless women. For the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Your welfare is going to fail like food uh, all of these fancy clothes, all of your luxuries, all of this social media stuff, you know what I mean? All of these tricks, all of these simps, all of these sugar daddies that's catering to you, boosting your ego, all for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. So you're, you're not going to be fed very well. You're not going to be treated very well. You're going to Dungeon City and Prison Village. Tremble, you women that are at ease. Be troubled, you careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. So all of those fancy clothes, right? This is the precept, right? To so Isaiah 3, 16 through 26. Like I told y'all, for real, this is true, right? You're going to be wearing rags. And then when we take y'all, if we if we do decide to take y'all up to the kingdom, wash y'all clean, you know, you're still going to be treated bad. You're going to be a handmaid. We're not going to take you as a wife or as a concubine. We're going to take you as a handmaid and treat you bad. Right? We're going to treat you a little better than those heathen slaves that we're going to have. Treat you a lot better than them. But still in all, you're going to be treated like a damn handmaid. And you're going to work. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. So y'all going to cry. Y'all are going to really feel it. You're going to want all of these luxuries that you had, you're going to want that back. You're going to cry for that. And to be looked up to as a God again. And to be treated as a God again. And for you to be accepted as a God again. Right. And for you to feel like a God again. That's what you want. That's the, what the woman really wants. Right. Upon the land of my people shall come up. Thorns and briars, yeah, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city, right? So you're going to the lowest part of the ghetto. What did it just say? Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, right? There you go. 
because the places shall be forsaken. The multitude of the city shall be left. The forts and towers shall be for dens forever. A joy of wild asses, a pasture of flocks. Dungeon City Prison Village is where these wicked women are going, man. Hey, yo, there ain't no such thing as no fire burning hell. That's Christianity. That's some Greek philosophy. All right. It's no such thing as that, man. That's uh torture fantasies and all of that, man. You know, that's that's religious, uh, religious lies, man. Right. This is real. You're going to the second earth. And you're going to a real low estate. You're going to a real shithole ghetto. Like real, like a, like a third world country type of ghetto. Right. And you're going to hate it. Right. Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high in the wilderness be a fruitful field and the fruitful field be counted for a forest, right? So until we bring you up out of Dungeon City, right? We're going to have to bring you up out of there. You feel me? With the spirit of the most high that he bestowed upon us, then judgment shall dwell in the wilderness and righteousness remain in the fruitful field, right? And the work of righteousness shall be peace. And the effect of righteousness, quietness. An assurance forever. And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation. And in sure dwellings. And in quiet resting places. Yes. All right. So when we bring y'all up out of there, you feel me? Then y'all can be in peace. But it's not very many that's going to be selected. Right. We're going to reject a lot of women. Like you women reject us. You reject the righteous men. Right. Because you're attracted to wicked men. Like the most high said. That's why he's going to kill your men. Like he said. Right. So. Understand that. That's the judgment, man. That's the judgment, man. So, yeah, man, we don't have a whole lot of time here. This life is short. Right. And uh, we don't got any good women to choose from. Anyway, not a lot of good women to choose from, man. Not a lot of righteous women, not a lot of good women, good, wholesome women, man, that are really going to have our back, that's really going to stand up for us, that's really going to be um, soft and delicate and loving, caring, nurturing women, right? And, and really be like warriors for us in the spirit and really have our back, though. You know, it's it's not that. Like, right? So right now, our duties right now as men of the Lord, check this out, King. It's not about women right now. It's not about having multiple wives right now, right? Because all of these women, man, they're disgusting and vile and defiled, right? And they chose the devil, man. All right? So fuck all of that trying to just get anything you can get and dealing with the bottom of the barrel women. Nah, man, just focus on the Lord right now. Focus on serving your Howard, you know, spreading this truth, teaching your people, edifying your people, warning your people, serving your Howard only, man, keeping these commandments, man. You know, we don't really have no time for women on the other side, man. When we get to the other side, then we're going to have all the time for women. But right now, man, it ain't really like that, man. You know what I'm saying? If you got a good one, though, if you got a good one, man, all praises to the most high, man, you know, treat her right, man, cherish her, right? Treat her right, cherish her, understand that, 
right? Because there's not a lot of good women out there, man. But then again, man, what the scriptures say, man. Let's bring the scriptures out, man. Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, 26 and 11, man. Like, right? Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against you. All right? So, man, don't be surprised if these women just betray you, man. Hey, let me tell y'all a story. Like, right? It's about like 10, 11 years ago, man. My first love. I was with her for like five years. And, uh, you know, I was in the world, you know, and I was doing wicked and she was doing wickedness. And uh, we broke up. But I repented. And I was trying to get her back. And I was trying to serve the Lord, man, and trying to learn about the Lord. I didn't know much, you know. So I came to her, man. One day we decided to meet up, you know, after living together and everything, right? We broke up. We had to, you know, get rid of the place and everything, you know. And uh, I came to her, you know, with the Holy Bible in my hand. And I told her that, you know, I repented and I'm changing my life. And I want her to come with me for her to repent. And for us to serve the Lord together. Look, man. You know, this woman told me no. On that very day, she rejected me. But not only did she reject me. She rejected the most high, man. She rejected the Lord. Right. She rejected the righteous lifestyle. And a few months later, man, she called me crying tears, you know, and it shocked me. And I'm like, you know, because I still have feelings for this girl. And I'm like, you know, what's going on? What's wrong? You know, after she, you know, caught her breath. She just confessed and admitted to me, like, we can never be together again. And she was crying like, you know, we can never be together again. And I'm like, why? You know, because she told me, you know, she was telling me, you know, before she called and, and on that day, she was like, I'll get with you when I'm like 30, 35. And I was telling her, look, I want the grape, not the raisin. All right, look, what's up? But so she wanted to ride the cock carousel, basically. Right. But now she's calling me on the phone crying. Just a couple of months later, just a couple of months later, I say about like two or three months later, she was calling me. Crying. And she told me we could never be together again. And I'm like, why? And she came out and told me that, you know, she got an STD, man, that she can't get rid of, you know, that she can't get rid of, man. So. On that day, she rejected me, but she just didn't reject me. She rejected the most high, man. And everybody gets a warning, man. Everybody gets that warning. I don't care what you say or who you are, man. You're going to get that warning from one of the messengers of the most high to say, look, you know, repent, you know, keep the commandments, live righteously. Come up out of this world, man. Stop doing this stuff, right? And uh, if you don't accept that, then you're going to get knocked down. You're going to get judged. Right? So to all the women out there, man, if you're in sin, if you're participating in this wicked kingdom, repent. Repent. Yeah. Repent. All right? And for you Hebrew Israelite women that think y'all know a little something about the scriptures and y'all want to take up for the wicked Israelite women. Look, check this out. Y'all want to say puffed up with pride. Oh, oh, we're the daughters of Zion. 
Yahweh wouldn't make us handmaids and maid servants. Oh, okay. Is that right? Let's go and get that. What an Exodus 21 and 2. If thou buy an Hebrew servant, what? If thou buy an Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing, without charge. But that's for the Hebrew men who serve other Hebrew men, right? So, wicked men, wicked Hebrew men are going to be servants, all right? And they're going to have their punishment. And them six years is going to be long, right? Because on the other side, the years are slowed up and we live a lot longer. Right. So. That's not the same with the Hebrew woman. With the Hebrew woman. He sees what happened to her. When we go to verse seven. And if a man sell his daughter to be a maid servant. She shall not go out as the men servants do. She shall not go out as the men servants do. So you women, when we pull y'all out of Dungeon City Prison Village, you, you girls are going to be our servants forever. You know, and mainly because we're going to be having sex with the women so they can't leave you know they'll be like a form of our wife but still in all you're going to be a handmaid you know a maid servant we might have sex with you like psh, once every two months but it's going to be better than being in dungeon city much better all right so the most high doesn't tolerate disrespect. The Most High don't like it. He hates it. When a woman disrespect her head. When a woman disrespect a man. Or try to boast herself. Above a man. We see that with. Moses and Miriam. When Miriam tried to boast herself up to the authority of Moses, the most high stripped her of all of her melanin. It made her a leper, white as snow. And everybody was afraid of her because that was like a new thing in the earth at that time. Right? And we see that with King David, King David's first wife. Micaiah, she tried to disrespect King David publicly. And King David basically put her in prison village, shut her up and didn't have sex with her for the rest of her life. She died childless. So you women are playing a real dirty game. You women is playing a real risky game by disrespecting the men of Yahweh. All right. And choosing to be with these wicked men. Right. And choosing to be with these idolaters. All right. You got a judgment coming. If you choose to be with a man that's proclaiming righteousness, but he's a fool and he can't see what's in the scriptures. Hey, that's on you. That's on you. All right. You're going to be in Dungeon City. You wicked women that's out there as whores and harlots going to be in Dungeon City Prison Village suffering until we come down there riding on them white horses.
to deliver your little beans and rice and, you know, a little water, a little bread, right? And we're going to have our little picks, right? But at the same time, repent, live righteously, seek the Lord, seek Yahweh while he can be found. Why you have a chance now, right? So you can just wake up to complete luxury and royalty. And instead of waking up to be in Dungeon City, Prison Village, which we read in the scriptures, Kram Yashala, rise Israel. Rise up. Kram Yashala.